Alrighty guys and gals, Froggy here and this is the door latch or release, not the latch, the the release on a 2013 Corvette Z06. Other Corvettes may also be the same. And I am not going to claim that I figured this out, but I have seen some other videos on it and I want to uh, show you my way of doing it. Anyway, um, I'm going to go backwards and tell you how I got it off. Okay, there's, there's the assembly like this. Two screws. There you go, two screws. There and there, just unscrew them. It'll come off one connection there. Take the connection apart. All right. Then, here's a little bit of a tricky part. You have to get this apart. It just kind of falls out of the surround. So you have to get this apart. This one happens to have some kind of a glue or adhesive or something that was used to seal this and also flowed down into that screw. So that screw stuck. I got the other one, two, three, four, five out. This one also was like that a little bit, but not so bad, so I was able to get it apart. So take those six screws out, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Be careful you don't strip that when getting it out, because it might be glued stuck. You take it apart, you're going to have two electrical, electronic, electrical contacts that when you press them together this pad here it's, it's inside here I haven't taken this apart yet when you press it together um, it undoes the latch electronically so now you can see in here there's actually four points one two three four um, I'm thinking I don't know I'm not sure. Those might be always in contact with this. I'll have to look and see. Or they might be the points that you make the contact on this. But anyway, what I've seen people do, and I'm telling you, do not do this, is sandpaper, wire brush, Dremel, all that stuff. No, no, no. This is These electrical contacts are finished and coated with a coating that you will destroy it if you use sandpaper or you use wire brushes so don't do that use electrical contact cleaner and just use a um, microfiber towel wipe it with electrical contact cleaner do not do anything more than that so that's what i'm going to do and i'm going to put it back together and then i'm going to try and figure this out they're very easy to press on i'm not sure whether those make contact or those are like grounds I think maybe they make contact and maybe they're just floating off of this part here and when you press you press there let's see if I can do it with one hand you press there I think yeah I think you're making contact with those things but anyway no sandpaper no wire brushes okay I'm going to put it back together. This is easy, quick and easy, so I'm not going to give you a lot of detail on putting it back together. Six screws go back in. The connector goes back on. Two screws hold it to the door. Done. Okay? Give me a thumbs up or a like. This helps you out. Subscribe to my channel if you want more from Froggy. And be safe. Have fun. Froggy out. Bye-bye. Okay. I'm back. Here you go. This is electrical contact cleaner. It's safe to use on these kinds of things and doesn't leave a residue. Don't use WD-40, don't use brake cleaning fluid, don't use sandpaper, don't use wire brush. Okay, bye. Much is easier now. I kind of you want to touch it with two or three fingers so that you get one of those four contacts that you saw. So just shove your hand in there. Kind of pull on it.
You, can, you don't really have to squeeze it. Just pull on it. Okay? See ya.